sababu ni ya jamii ni watu aina gani watasikiza mziki kuna wale wenye wameumbwa na usanaa wa kuchora uimbaji mm. sakata au no, vile vile wa kusakata dance hata mimi nikisema leo nichukue niende kuuza mangogo kikomba changanye mm-hmm. nikiamkachubui niombe nichukue ni uzenda kwa na uza biashara yangu itakuwa mm-hmm. lazima uanzie pale kesho siku yako na Mungu ili uweze biti kuna mko na jinsi ya kuchombea Hujambo mpenzi mtazamaji na karibu sana kwa runinga uipendayo ambayo ni CFI RLM TV jina langu kama kawaida ni Miriam Munji nikiwa na hoda wako wa kila siku kumbuka uko ndani ya kigoda cha vidato show na ujue leo ikiwa ni wiki ile ya mwisho ambapo tunatamatisha awamu ya kwanza ya vidato show kwa hivyo na kukaribisha zaidi wapo wewe ni mgeni ni mara yako ya kwanza ningependa tu uweze ku like pale katika hiyo kibango kuna mahali padogo pa kwa kidole namna hii ningependa tu uweze ku like alafu ujue pia uweze kushare ili wengine waweze kujua kwamba wapate ujumbe kwa uraisi kwamba vidato tumeanza waweze kuketi kitako ili waweze kumakinika kama wewe mpenzi mtazamaji karibu sana na kama wewe ni mwenyeji basi keti kitako tuweze kusemezana zaidi kwa sababu leo tunazungumzia uh, masuala matatu tumezoea kuzungumzia mada moja ila leo tumeunganisha maana zote zinajumuika yani zinakuwa kitu kimoja kwa hivyo leo tunazungumzia uaminifu utiifu na imani uaminifu utiifu na imani mpenzi mtazamaji ningependa tu tueleze unatizama ukiwa wapi alafu pale ka, katika sms yetu hapo ningependa tu andike unatizama ukiwa wapi na mada ya leo una, unaichukulia vipi? Maana tunauliza utiifu, uaminifu na imani ukiviweka ama ukivizingatia katika maisha yako kutakuwa vipi? Maisha yako itasonga hatua za mbele ama utabaki pale mahali ulipokuwa kutakuwa vipi? Kumbuka vidato show ni hali ya kupanda ngazi katika maisha. Iwapo umeanzisha kitu lazima ukamilishe maana hicho ni ngazi tu ya wewe mwenyewe kuweza kuafikia pale ambapo unastahili kufika mpenzi mtazamaji na ndani ya mjengo Tunaye binti mtanashati mrembo ni mtumishi wa Mungu na kwambia tumebarikiwa kweli kweli maana tunajua tuna najua tunaenda ku ujue ndani ya vidato huwa tunachamba ndani alafu tukishachamba tunataka tujue ni yapi ya kuna yani tunazungumza ni mazungumzo wazi wazi hakuna kuficha chochote tunazungumzia hapa ndani binti huyo ni mrembo sana hata nashindwa niseme nini lakini karibu sana karibu sana Eve uh, Tieli Nimesema jina lako vizuri kabisa. Mm, kabisa. Ni mwimbaji. Wengine wanasema ni muimbi. <laughs> ni mwimbaji. <laughs> ni mwimbaji wa nyimbo za injili na tena ni mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye ameteuliwa. Karibu sana. Asante. Jihisi ukiwa huru mahali ambapo panastahili. Ukiwa nyumbani ukihisi kwamba uko sawa hapa hapa ni nyumbani. Okay. Ningependa angalie ile kamera uweze kuambia mpenzi mtazamaji jina lako maana mimi nimelisema mm-hmm. mimi unaweza kulisema kwa mvuto kidogo <laughs> uweze kulelewa vizuri yeah. karibu sana okay. asante mm-hmm. nashukuru sana um, kwa majina naitwa Ivatili kama vile amesema mm-hmm. uh, mimi ni mwimbaji na pia ni mchungaji wa kanisa la Kingdom of God Church pale Kilimani mm-hmm. asante sana karibu sana kwenye vidato show hapa huwa tuneka vitu uwazi wazi na najua tumetunukiwa tume kuwa na watumishi wa Mungu ndani ya mjengo mara nyingi na no wanatuelekeza vizuri ile wanakuanga watumishi wa kiume leo sijui tuntu sijui mpige drum set mtoto hakika ambaye ni mtumishi wa Mungu yuko ndani ya mjengo ah wasichana wapi ho leo tuko tumewakilishwa kweli kweli kwa hivyo najua tutazungumza akopana uh, kundani vizuri mm. na kuna watu ambao wanauliza munje unazungumzia kuhusu imani unazungumzia kuhusu utiifu mm-hmm. maana kuna siku tumezungumzia hapa uh, kuhusu utiifu sana na ikazoa tata matata mengi sana na leo tumeshikanisha zote tatu uwe na utiifu uwe na uaminifu na uwe na imani maisha itakaa sawa karibu asante mm-hmm. Alright, um tukiangalia madhetu ya leo ni vitu tatu mm-hmm. kwa hivyo uh, lakini samahani mimi Kiswahili kidogo kidogo na kukimbiza yeah, ni sawa. Si ndio ndio changu. Muzungu wako ndani ya nyumba. <laughs> <laughs> Muzungu wako ndani ya nyumba. Kwa hivyo okay. watu wachangamke. Sawa? Right. <laughs> um so tunaongelea je faith kwanza mm-hmm. watu tuanze na imani. Yeah. Right. 
because tukiangalia upande wa faith mm -hmm. faith ni tunasema ni assurance uh -huh. yeah? yeah ni assurance of what has been said mm -hmm. now tukikuja katika hali ya kikristo um, about god mm -hmm. then tuta define faith kuwa it's an assurance of what the word of god says mm -hmm. ya kwamba uko na uhakika ni hakikisha kwamba kile ambacho neno limesema Nihichu. that's exactly what it means mm -hmm. and it will come to pass okay. right yes. and so when you talk about faith and you, if you go to the ukienda hebrews chapter 11 utapata pia it say as it's, it talks about the same same thing mm -hmm. alafu ukikuja kwa faithfulness mm -hmm. so tukitoka kwa faith tukisema ni assurance mm -hmm. ya kwamba kile kenye neno limesema neno la Mungu limesema neno la Mungu limesema li, yeah. hicho ndo hicho na hicho ndo kitatimia it will come to pass okay. so tunasema faithfulness tukifuatilia hapo mm -hmm tunakuja tunasema kwamba hiyo ni Mungu Mungu ni mwaminifu right mm -hmm. lakini tunasema kwamba kama Mungu amekuahidi mm -hmm. right na una imani ya kwamba kitatendeka mm -hmm. basi you stay the course mm -hmm. right you be faithful to watch over that word mm -hmm. to follow that word mm -hmm. to keep to that word to stick mm -hmm. to that word mm -hmm. in in essence ni kusema kukua loyal Mm -hmm. Right? Yaani uko tu mwaminifu. Ah yeah. inaingiliana. Ah ah ah. Kukua ah, loyal. Uh -huh. Sababu kama amesema neno na hilo litakuwa mm -hmm. and then kuwa loyal kwa hilo neno. Mm -hmm. No matter what happens, usiondoke. Mm -hmm. Kwa hiyo njia. Anasema ninachokisema mm -hmm. nina nguvu ya mm -hmm. kutenda. Mm -hmm. Ni wewe tu taamua kufuatilia. Yaani mm -hmm. consistent. Mm -hmm. Kama ni kwa kuomba u remain hapo. Si mara exactly. moja kesho watoroka. Hapana. Hapana. Mm -hmm. Na nilikuwa naangalia for example ukiangalia faithfulness ukiangalia like marriage, mm -hmm. right? Yeah ni kama umolewa mm -hmm. and then no matter what happens you are faithful to this one partner mm -hmm. so no matter what happens in that marriage mm -hmm. uko faithful to this one partner mm -hmm. so no matter what um, okay. mawimbi anapoinuka mm -hmm. you're faithful to keep to stand by what god said uh -huh. because you know he's faithful oh, yeah. right mm -hmm. so you're also faithful to that word okay. to stand by what god says no matter what happens mm -hmm. i know who promised mm -hmm. So I'm going to be faithful to stick to the course. And then tunakuja mwisho ya obedience. Mm -hmm. Another word obedience. Mm -hmm. So wakati ambapo amesema neno mm -hmm. na uko na imani, imani imeinuka. Mm -hmm. Now and you are faithful to remain to the course. Mm -hmm. and then you have to obey lazima uti mm -hmm. yale masharti yote yana nafaa uti ndipo sasa hiyo imani ikaanze ku ika, ika yeah, geuke it, into it, an action. Yeah. Kwa hivyo right? tunasema kitu cha kwanza imani. Yeah. Imani ni kile kitu ambacho ukioni haukijui. No. Yaani upo tu kwenye giza macho yamefungwa, hauoni chochote. No. Bali una ile imani, mm -hmm. unajua kwamba nimeahidiwa kitu fulani, yani bwana ameniaidia kama si tumeidiwa uzima wa milele. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo tunaamini mm -hmm. na tuko pale. Kwa hivyo tumesema imani ni hiyo. Tukasema kwamba uaminifu ni kwamba uwe consistent. Yaani ukue na ule mwelekeo, yani ujue kwamba kama ni, ni ukweli nimeahidiwa hiki kitu na nafaa kuwa faithful. Mm -hmm. Ukatoa mfano mbao kwamba hapa kwa vidato watu wakisikianga huo mfano. You know we have the third week for relationship. Watu na wanaulizanga be faithful to one person who is not faithful. How now? <laughs> so let's say huo mfano umetoa vizuri sana kwa Mungu. Kama Mungu akiwa mwaminifu, mm -hmm. yeye ni mwaminifu kwa Mungu maana akikuhaidia atatenda. Yeah. Maana hakuna siku ashai kwa Mungu. Kila siku yeye ukua mwaminifu. Mpaka waimbaji wengi wametoa nyimbo wakasema akiahidi atatenda yeah, ukifuatilia tu katika mkondo. Kiswahili so, tunasema mkondo mm -hmm. ni maji. Unafuata maji yanafuata tu mkondo basi. Ukifuata neno la Mungu pia utakuwa sawa. Mm -hmm. Kwa hiyo tukasema kwamba obedience. Unajua zinaingiliana sana. Eti unasema imani, uaminifu mm -hmm. na kuwa obedient. Yeah. For example nilikuwa naangalia Abraham. Mm -hmm. Abraham is a very good example wa kutuonyesha hizo vitu tatu zote. Mm -hmm. You see, Mungu anakuta naambia Abraham in the book of Genesis, mm -hmm. ondoka uende. Naam. Haambia Abraham aende wapi? And by that time nataka ujua kwamba hakukua kulikuwa na the Holy Spirit lakini hakuwa amekuwa revealed venye ko revealed kwa in our dispensation, mm -hmm. right? Eh, hey, sikuizo nasikia mpaka sauti inakwambia. Mhm. Mm yeah. Unasikia bora tu jua kutofautisha sauti, yeah. utasikia, utajua mm -hmm. ukweli. Yeah. And so in those days mm -hmm. sauti na kujia Abraham na mwambie Abraham leave and go mm -hmm. but he doesn't tell him go to the left or to the right mm -hmm. he just tells him go you know so Abraham wakes up in the morning and takes his wife and whoosh, anaenda hata yeye ajia anaenda wapi eh, you mm -hmm. get no. but aliamini mm -hmm. ya kwamba mwenye ameniambia ni Mungu mm -hmm. haja hiyo na Mungu na macho mm -hmm. lakini aliamini hiyo sauti lazima ikuwe ya Mungu, ya Mungu. lakini nataka kujua pia in that place Abraham was living there was a lot of idolatry 
Okay, yeah. Kulikuwa na kulikuwa na miungu mingine miungu mingi. Mingi, right? Kila na. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lakini ndio Abraham a differentiate hizi miungu na sauti ya Mungu. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That took a lot of faith. Yeah. Lakini wakati aliuliza unaona Abraham ajibizani na Mungu hata mm -hmm. indi fasting 40 days ati ndio ajue <laughs> is this the voice of God ama nini nini mm -mm. the guy anaambiwa hivi na kesho ameamka amechukua bibi yake uh -huh. na ngombe zake na wafanyakazi wake Lot ndio anamwambia e unaenda api uncle anasema ni Lot akasema nitakufuata now see in the process of that Abraham akitoka now that is faith assurance all right yeah and then ana, anaendelea kuenda that is mm -hmm. obedience pia Anasema viongozi wanatutupa, wanatuonyesha mifano miba, mibaya. Yunis Mbotela kutoka Muranga. Anasema uh, yeye katika utiifu na uaminifu kidogo ana matatanishi. So tulikuwa tunatumia illustration kama Abraham just Naam. to make this thing simpler. Ya, yeah, right? maana ame, amerukia, okay. amevuka mtu kama bado hujafika kule yeah. tunakoenda. <laughs> So tukasema first tunaona Abraham mm -hmm. kitu ya kwanza ni anaamini kwamba mwenye amemnenea ni Mungu. Mm -hmm. Licha kuwa kwamba hajaona mtu. Mm -hmm. He just had a voice. Mm -hmm. Na umesema so, kwenda fasting 40 days. No 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 no. no. <laughs> Now the act of moving uh -huh. that's obedience. Yeah. When you hear God's word mm -hmm. you act on it. Mm -hmm. Now that's obedience. Mm -hmm. Sababu asubu yake aliamka akatoka mm -hmm. na akaenda. Mm -hmm. Hakuuliza hiyo ni conscience yangu, hiyo ni shetani ameniongelesha mm -hmm. ama nini I believe that is God. Mm -hmm. So kutoka kuenda mm -hmm. following the instructions and aliambua go mm -hmm. that is obedience. That is obedience. You get? Uh -huh. And then even when things became tough, mm -hmm. you realize hapo kwa barabara kuna venye alikuwa sana na lot mm -hmm. but he kept going. Yeah. Kuna venye kulikuwa na vita with the king of Mesopotamia, wakando mm -hmm. wakapigana nini nini. The man kept going. Now that is faithfulness, sticking to the course no matter the cost. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You stick to the word God said it, <laughs> but it looks like things are not working according. So mm -hmm. no matter the cost, I will stick to the course. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. Now that's faithfulness. That is faithfulness. You get? Ndio mm -hmm. sababu unaona Abraham ndio nikasema he's the very good example for us mwenye mm -hmm. akona hizi vitu tatu. Naam. Maana anasikia sauti and he believes that's God. That's faith assurance. Anatoka right? anaenda. All right? Now anatoka naenda. Mm -hmm. Another example with the same same Abraham, Mungu anamtokezea na kuja na muambia you know what? Nataka wende utoe mtoto wako kafara. Mm -hmm. Is it kafara? Sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. Good. Uh, Kiswahili ndio hicho sasa. <laughs> Wende ukatoe sacrifice. Uh -huh. Okay? Mm -hmm. He still believes that that's God. Naam. You get? Naam. And he doesn't argue. Mm -hmm. Because obedience is hearing and acting according uh -huh. to what you heard, right? Mm -hmm. Submitting respectfully under the law. Mm -hmm. Right? And so Abraham anamka asubuhi anachukua Isaac mm -hmm. anaenda Mount Moriah. Mm -hmm. Haulizi maswali, hangangani, haendi hata fasting kuuliza, kukemea pepo, ku bind and destroy all tasks nini anaenda. Mm -hmm. You get? Yeah. So that is faith, mm -hmm. believing. Yeah. And then that is obedience mm -hmm. when you just act in accordance to the word, right? Yeah. And that is why unapata kwamba Mungu ana at and the end of the at the end of the day he's the father is our father of faith. Yeah. Because he exhibited all those three things. Mm -hmm. He was faithful, he was obedient mm -hmm. and his faith never wavered. Mm -hmm. Right. Kwa hivyo tunasema kwamba utiifu utiifu ah uh, then kukua na imani. Imani ni kuamini na kutenda. Uamini na utende. Yaani huyo mtu alikuwa na imani nyingine beyond measures. Tumesema leo kizungu lazima itoke. <laughs> yaani alikuwa na imani nyingine hata mimi it's beyond everything. Usikie na utende. Mm -hmm. Unajua kuna wali ambao if wanasikianga lakini hawajajua kutofautisha sauti ya Mungu na sauti ya mwanadamu. Mm -hmm. Bado wako pale katikati. Yeah. Yeah. Sasa mtu atajuaje kutofautisha kwamba ni Mungu ananiambia hivi? ama ni mwanadamu ananiambia unajua zama zile kulikuwa sawa sana uh, zama za kina Abrahamu akina the prophets you know kulikuwa sawa Ju, mpaka una, unaona mtu anasema weka maji kwa hizi kuni weka ako na ile imani iteni ya kila mtu akuje aone ako na ile imani basi siku hizi unashindwa kutofautisha you see i'll tell you i'll cut you short and tell you mm -hmm. In fact Abraham desires angeishi kwa hii dispensation because mm -hmm. we live in the best dispensation ever mm -hmm. because hizi Holy Spirit hakuji mm -hmm. anafanya alafu anaenda mm -hmm. mm -mm. 
Trust me Abraham anatuangalia na shangana sisi. Anasema I wish I lived this dispensation mm -hmm. because here we have God with us. Yeah. Si ati anakuja alafu anaenda. anaenda. Mm -hmm. Alafu anakuja kukiwa na kitu anaenda. anaenda. He doesn't okay. visit. Mm -hmm. He dwells. Yeah. He dwells amongst us mm -hmm. and with us, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And umeuliza swali, how do you know this is this is me mm -hmm. and this is the Holy Spirit? Yeah. Yanaongea. Mm -hmm. Maana hapo ndio kuna kwanga na mchanganyiko maalum hapo mm -hmm. kidogo. But then one of the things and that's why we're talking about faith. Mm -hmm. Because faith you just have to believe that was God. Yeah. Now let me go back and 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 and, and um, remove this this confusion. Mm -hmm. You see when you get born again the first thing that happened, the Holy Spirit comes. Mm -hmm. In fact, Niana convict mm -hmm. to get born again. Mm -hmm. Because you are dead in sins. You do, can't tell what sin is. Mm -hmm. So he convicts you and you nimeoko. Nimeokoka, all right? Kwa hivyo na mtakatifu wa kuingilie kwanza, mm -hmm. ukisha, ukisha kiri kwamba mimi nimeokoka. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo roho mtakatifu aingie. Kwanza na kuanga mengia before kiri. Uh -huh, Mana okay. hawezi kiri bila roho mtakatifu. Kama haje ingia. Yeah. Okay. Kwa hivyo mpenzi mtazamaji, tunambiwa na mtumishi wa mungu kwamba, Unapo okoka, lazima kwamba uokoke kwanza. Yeah. Ndo ukiri. Kwa hivyo ukiokoka roho yes. takatifu anaingia ndani yako. Ndo unakiri kwamba leo ni mokoka. Na kutoka leo tunasonga mbele na mungu wangu. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's the Holy Spirit who does the work of salvation. Ukiwa mm -hmm. na mtamekuja mesema I'm born again. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit asha maliza kazi. Mm -hmm. Alright. Asha yeah. convict unto righteousness. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what the scripture says. Mm -hmm. Now. Now let's talk about now. How do you know this is this is you and this is the Holy yeah. Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit dwells in you. Mm -hmm. So what the Holy Spirit does is this. When God created man. Mm -hmm. He created conscience. Mm -hmm. Something that tells you this is right. And mm -hmm. this is wrong. That tells you zipande ima tatu. Mm -hmm. Right. Because it doesn't act. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yes. Now when the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is in what he does. Mm -hmm. He calls the conscience. Mm -hmm. He tells the conscience. Oh yeah. Come here. Mm -hmm. Come over here. Mm -hmm. Let's work together. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that we make this woman to become what God made her, created her to be. Mm -hmm. So that we make this woman to walk, to walk in the ways of the Lord and obey God. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Spirit anaita conscience. Because mm -hmm. Holy Spirit ni mtu. Mm -hmm. Right? Akona feelings. So okay. he calls the conscience. Okay. Anamombia, come. Mm -hmm. Let's work together. So they intertwine. So there is no way holy, conscience and a kappa, Holy Spirit and a kappa, they become one and the same. No, na shanganga kumba umtu anasema kumba tamira yangu ili nikanya. Nisifanya kitu flani, tamira yangu ili nambia nisipande basi flani. Kwa mfano kumba kuna msana flani, uh, back then, tulipokuwa tunasoma shule za upili. Akasema kumba alipokuwa na rudi shule, alisikia conscience yake na muambia sipande yogari. Lakini akanza kulia na ambia mamake, oh, staki kuenda shule. So you know parents of those days. Utaenda shule, lazima uende. So wakati ya liabiri ile gari, ikawa kuwa ime hijakiwa. People were raped, but uh, kwa sababu ya mungu, she had a very small body, alinusurika. Because they told her, run and go. Akaenda. So alikuwa natuambia, tamiri ya mtu inakuanga high. From that day, her mother used to believe her. Akimuambia hivi na hivi, but don't take advantage. Sao mpenzi mtazamaji, usikuwa na take advantage. Unasimu kumba tamiri yangu na niambia na ijakuambia. You see, when you get born again, mm -hmm. I've said the Holy Spirit calls your conscience. Yes. Come work together. Mm -hmm. So it's no longer your, because your conscience is subjective. Mm -hmm. When I say it's subjective, mm -hmm. sometimes it's subjective to how you're feeling today. Mm -hmm. Right? It goes okay. with feelings. Right? Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit doesn't go with the feelings. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's why you don't feel the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He's there. He He's doesn't need you to there. feel okay. him. Yeah? You don't need to cry and say now the Holy Spirit was in the service. Mm -hmm. You don't need to to jump and shout and say the, mm -mm. Uh -huh. he's there whether you jump or shout whether you or cry or don't. He's, uh -huh. there. he's not a feeling, feeling, feeling person. Mm -hmm. You get? And so he calls your conscience mm -hmm. and now they become objective. You know? Mm -hmm. When someone is objective, it means they don't go with the feelings, with the season, with how things look like. Right? They put facts on the table and discuss Mm -hmm. discuss basing on the facts not with how you feel mm -hmm. you get um, right not that, the holy spirit, <laughs> not that the holy spirit uh -huh. overlooks your feelings mm -hmm. he really wants you to feel okay right uh -huh. i first said he's a person mm -hmm. but he's a very objective person, objective person. right mm -hmm. so, so now when you get born again mm -hmm. the, it's now the holy spirit who is speaking to you mm -hmm. yeah the mm -hmm. bible says in john 10 mm -hmm. it says my sheep knows my voice yeah and the voice of a stranger mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they they don't even understand it yeah, it's so true. if you're the sheep in the fold of god mm -hmm. how can the devil talk to you no it's so hard how can the devil talk Let to you ujue. the bible said the voice of a stranger mm -hmm. 
we don't even understand we don't even recognize that's mm -hmm. the scripture you know yeah they will and that's jesus saying by the way my cue mm -hmm. it was not an apostle it yeah. was jesus saying the voice of a stranger they will not even recognize mm -hmm. i'm born again how can the devil talk to me mm -hmm. yeah lakini so anasema kwamba sasa zingine uenda kuuliza rusa kama hii story ya aje jacko ya anaitwa job yani shetani alitembea tembea tu yani mpaka wao tunasema eri Mungu akuwe na ushuhuda wako kila siku maana ndio anatembea tembea tu anamuuliza au Mungu anamuuliza umenonea mtumishi wangu kule chini aliomba rusa akakuja akaanza kumgusa gusa but now you remember the something i said we live in a very beautiful dispensation yeah. Job did not live in the dispensation of the Holy oh, Spirit. Right? So the Holy Spirit was not dwelling inside of Job. Mm -hmm. He came when he was needed, mm -hmm. did his work, whoop, disappeared. Then he went away. All right. But right now he dwells on the inside of us. Uh -huh. And that's why then Jesus says the church is built and the gates of hell mm -hmm. shall not prosper. And that's when he when he said I give you power mm -hmm. and authority. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. And then there's another thing he's telling the the, the disciples when he's going mm -hmm. that do not be do not be grieved because I'm going. In mm -hmm. fact, you need to actually celebrate Nikki paraphrase because mm -hmm. you know what? Mm -hmm. My going is better mm -hmm. because I'm going to send a paraclete. Mm -hmm. Sasa huyu ndio mweza yote. Huyu you know? Holy Spirit. Yeah. Rome Holy Takatifu. Spirit. Ndio mweza. Now when the Holy Spirit is there mm -hmm. and they say he will convict, he will lead men unto all. Mhm. Mm not just righteousness all mm -hmm. righteousness what am i saying mm -hmm. that basically means yes the enemy will tempt you mm -hmm. but the holy spirit will tell you you know okay. that there's like a light but the holy spirit will just atafinya mm -hmm. that's not me okay that is not me if you're walking with god very well and the holy spirit is alive you've given him space mm -hmm. to operate he will always tell you that's not me eva lakini lazima uko ndani hivi hivi lazima uko umekoka vizuri usikuwa uko mguu mmoja huko mguu mwingine huko and, and, and I'll say about that akunanga mm -hmm. kuokoka mgumu moja huko mwingine huko you are either born again or you are not born again Bonasema you cannot be lukewarm they are saying no. I, I know you can never i, I, I have watched war room ya yeah, lukewarm nobody likes lukewarm but unasikia mtu anasema biblia inasema ukikunywa mvinyo kidogo simba they like quoting i don't know what is their problem but they like quoting <laughs> ati hata yesu wakati walenda na mama yake kwa harusi nini kaisha Eh ilikuwa inaitwa ni ni mvinyo uliisha akasema ekeni jazeni tank jaza we are ladies naambia mtoto wako jaza jazeni alafu atengeneze ikue wine na ilikuwa so sweet so mtu akikwambia hivyo kutakuwa ajebu nisome comment maana eve anawaka moto hapa nataka kujibu <laughs> mwana Kennedy mzalendo anasema no matter the cost ah uh, kidogo nimeruka acha nisome kwanza hii nasema mnapendeza mjadala iko chonjo ah, nafuatilia asante sana alafu namuona Samuel anasema great program asante sana alafu sasa namuona Kennedy mzaliendo anasema kwamba no matter the cost stick to uh, no matter the cost stick to the cost eh kizungu ha acha nifafanue eti no matter chochote kile Lazima ufuatilie kile ambacho unapaswa kukifuata. Kama ni njia hii unafaa upa, ufate, fata. Hapo hapo ndipo unafaa kuelekea. Alafu anasema hivi, hiyo inalala kwa status leo. Hey, hey. Eti atayeka kwa status. Sawa. Ask a woman of God to clarify for us. Are we supposed to fear the Lord or obey the Lord? Hiyo ni swali. Shikilia hapo hivi, eh? Alafu na mwana mwingine anasema watching you. Asante sana. Alafu mwingine anasema curious instincts and uh, curious instincts uh, holy spirit are they the same thing uh, conscience sorry conscience instinct na holy spirit are they the same thing kwa hivyo tuna maswali hapa sijui tujibu maswali pole pole kwanza tukisonga ili swali la kwanza muuliza are we supposed to fear the lord or obey the lord alafu nishikanishe na hii nasema kwamba conscience instincts na holy spirit are they the same thing alafu ukiwa ndo toni hey hey, hey wacha nikae vizuri ukiwa ndo toni ni nini ama nani anakuongelesha anga <laughs> sawa kabisa na maana mwingine anasema hapa nikubarikiwa kabisa asante sana tia mm, tia na ukubali kutumikia uh, kutumika na kwa njia safi za Mwenyezi Mungu God 
good uh, program be blessed always asante sana na asante sana kwa wote ambao wanatuma rafa zao tunashukuru zaidi mpenzi mtazamaji ningependa tu tueleze mada ile inakupeleka vipi na kama una mchango wako uliwahi kuti ama ulikosa kufuata tamiri yako kulikuwa vipi hivi tuna swali hapa alright tuanze na hii ambayo inasema kwamba are we supposed to fear the lord ama obey tunapaswa kumuogopa mungu kumuofu kumuogopa ama kuti tunapaswa tufanye zote. zote because the fear of the lord is not that one that you hear god and you start shaking mm -hmm. no basically just say to be in awe of god to respect god mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. to be in awe like you are amazed mm -hmm. you so you what do i say let me let me use an, an uh, awe is a big jargon okay. let me just say it's to respect god you know? yeah kumushimu. in simple basic nasari Uh, English mm -hmm. is just to respect Siku God. Mogo, si ukimsikia unakimbia yeah. unaingia chini ya kitanda. Mm -hmm. No. Nile shima ina maana. Hiyo ni ya shetani. Uh -huh. Right? Naam. Unaona watu wote wanakuanga he ukifanya hivi Mungu ataku Mungu atakupiga, ukifanya hivi Mungu atakulaani. Mm -hmm. That's the devil. God never does. Ako kaoga, kana tuma mpaka no. uwezi kufanya chochote ambacho no. unahitaji kufanya. That's the devil. Mm -hmm. You know he will mm -hmm. always give you the negativity of God. Mm -hmm. So we have to fear God mm -hmm. and you also have to rest to, to obey to God. Obey God right? Okay. Because if you respect me, mm -hmm. automatically you will obey me. Of course, yeah. Get. Ah. Yeah. Ni ukweli. Kwa hivyo mbaya mauliza hilo swali kwamba ni vizuri unafaa kumogopa Mungu ama kutii. Kwa hivyo tunapaswa kufanya zote ni umoshimu Mungu na bado umti Mungu. Alafu kulikuwa na swali ambao anauliza, alafu kiwa ndotoni. Ni nini ama ni nani anakuongelesha? <laughs> Okay na kumbuka there is um, there is a time when God uh, wana wa Israeli Miriam mm -hmm. alikuwa ameleta shida mm -hmm. right in the book of Exodus mm -hmm. na Mungu akamwambia Moses is the only servant I speak to face to face mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but other prophets I speak to them through dreams mm -hmm. dreams are still real mpaka wa leo mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. God can speak to you through dreams mm -hmm. right okay also what you meditated on before we went to sleep can also <laughs> speak to you through dreams okay the okay. enemy <laughs> The enemy uh -huh. who is our accuser can mm -hmm. also speak to you through dreams, through dreams. right? Uh -huh. So it's you to wake up and and ask God what was this? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Then the Holy Spirit will begin to give you interpretations. Okay. I always tell people when they come to me and tell me this is what I dreamt, can you interpret it? I'm like, do you know you are the best person who can interpret your own dream? Mm -hmm. Because you know the feeling that was in that dream. You know mm -hmm. how you felt. Cuz naweza utamaji na ni kweni nilikuwa nimefurahia. Okay. Nenda uta maji ni kwenu kwa nimeshtuka. Mm -hmm. So you see if I interpret it for you, I mean interpret it for you like it's a it's a it's a program. Mm -hmm. And this is how we interpret water. Okay. Kumbe in your dream it mm -hmm. meant something different. Meant so in your dreams different. three things, it's either God mm -hmm. or your own conscience what you mm -hmm. meditated on mm -hmm. or the enemy can speak to you. Okay, mpenzi mtazamaji jibu lake anasema mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye ni mtumishi wa kike. Ah, Pastor Eva Tweli. Ah, at, hey, 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 Jesus come. <laughs> Pastor Eva Atieli. Sindo? Yes. Anasema kwamba ukiwa umelala, ukiwa unaota ndoto, unasema nani anayekuzungumzia? Inaweza kuwa roho wa Mungu, inaweza kuwa mchana ulikuwa umepita huko huko vitu ambavyo vyote ulikuwa unavifikiria, umewaza vitu vingi, inaweza kuwa ni hiyo mandhari ambayo yanakuathiri. Jambo la tatu inaweza kuwa pia ibilisi ambaye uh, ni our enemy anaweza kuwa pia alikuwa anakuzungumzia mpenzi mtazamaji kumbuka tuna muda halo ambao uh, kwa sasa umenoga zaidi tunajiuliza uaminifu utiifu na imani ukivichanganya au ukizijumlisha katika maisha yako kutakuwa vipi maisha yako yatakuwa vipi unajua kwamba tumepewa mfano mzuri sana wa Abraham alipoambao toka nenda hapo angaleni wapi anaenda tumeambiwa kwamba hakufast eh Siku hizo unajua watu wengi wanasema a a wait ngoje ya kwanza nataka kwanza niende mlimani niombe nijue hiyo ni sauti ya nani mm. yeye yeah, hakufikiria hivyo alienda alitoka akaenda vitu vingi vilifanyika njiani lakini alibaki akiwa mwaminifu so tumambona pasi kwamba aliti hiyo ya kwanza alisikia sauti akatii kutoka kuenda aka remain faithful kwa hiyo safari maana hakukatiza changamoto zilikuwa nyingi lakini hakukatiza safari yake alibaki kwa imani je wewe ukishikwa tu na changamoto kidogo ah uh, unaambiwa bwana yeye vumilia wezi bwana yeye kuko kidogo kidogo hivi vi unahisi kwamba unajua hata maneno yangu yanakataa kutoka unahisi kwamba aha watu wanataka kunibeba nini watu wa shenga wanasimanga kubeba ufala 
Nwambia vidato sikizi lazima <laughs> kila lugha tunajua. Leo tunazungumza kizungu siku nyingine tulikuwa na mtu wa sheng. Ni sawa tu. Kwa hivyo mada nzima ni hiyo. Mpenzi mtazamaji ningependa tu tuambie mahali ulipo na mada inakupeleka vipi. Karibu sana mtumishi wa Mungu. Tu tuendelee tu zaidi. Alright. So tukiongea juu ya faith. Mm -hmm. Kuna kitu niki, niki grow up as a young believer nilikuwa naambiwa you just declare the word of God right mm -hmm. ukiomba you stand on the word you declare the word of God declare mm -hmm. things will just happen declare mm -hmm. oh declare and decree Yeah. But I came to realize okay. those are nursery rhymes. Uh -huh. It doesn't happen like that. Okay. God is not some genie in a bottle. Mm -hmm. That the moment you speak, shua, things begin to happen for mm -hmm. you. I actually realize faith goes hand in hand with obedience. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. The word says those who scatter, mm -hmm. right, are the ones who will receive, who become wealthy. Mm -hmm. So if the word says that, mm -hmm. you do not go fasting 40 days, mm -hmm. you begin to give. You're going to your drop and give and continue giving mm -hmm. and continue to pray and continue to give as you as you continue to speak the word you act on it. Yeah, But there is something about Pentecostal in your sequence to nafanya you're like just decree what you confess is what you possess. Actually realize it's a lie. It's not in the scripture. Na right? napita na hapo kwa gari yako naguza gari. Yeah. I decree. That's witchcraft. This car will be mine. Oh, you're just a robber. Eh? Huh? This you're just, car will be you're mine. Just, you're just a robber. Mm -hmm. Just go buy your own car. Work. Go buy your own car. <laughs> right? <laughs> you get i actually realize faith uh -huh. is a profession mm -hmm. you get yeah, it's okay. not just a mere confession because mm -hmm. imagine if abraham god had told abraham genesis 22 mm -hmm. if god had told abraham leave and go mm -hmm. and then abraham will go around the city oh people i am going god has told me i'll go i will go in jesus name mm -hmm. i will go i will go mm -hmm. i will go i will go i will go and nothing will happen Right? Imagine Noah. Mm. If Noah God told him build a boat and then he said I'll build a boat. I'll build. I'll build. I'll build and mm -hmm. he's not acting on it. He's not doing anything. And that's mm -hmm. why faith is not a talk show. Mm -hmm. Faith is action. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's a profession. Why am I saying faith is a profession? Mm -hmm. Because it requires you to work on it. Yeah? What? You've heard the word mm -hmm. work. Thank you for tuning in. Okay. 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 Miriam, you look beautiful. Keep up. Hey, Buana Jamania to keep up the beauty. Asante sana. Mpenzi mtazamaji nataka tuende katika mapumziko machache, alafu tutakuwa tukirejea muda usio kwa mrefu. Tazamaji karibu zaidi ndani ya mdahalo na mchakato mzima ndani ya kigoda cha vidato nikiwa na hoda wako kila siku jina langu ni Mira Munji karibu zaidi na leo tunazungumzia sala nzima la uaminifu utiifu na imani ujue zote ukizijumlisha na kuambia utakwenda mbali na kuambia chochote ambacho ume ki, unatamani kukifanya unakifanya maana tunaomba kwamba uki u, tunapoa mifano mingi zaidi kwa, kwa mfano kwamba unapotaka kufanya kitu usiamini tu kwamba unataka kufanya a a una 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 unafanya una, una, una zaidi <laughs> as in unataka hiyo kitu ambacho unataka kukifanya eh TBD weka yani fanya kazi ili uweze kuwafikia hicho ambacho unakihitaji kwa nini ni kwa sababu unahitaji kwenda mahali ambapo unataka kwa hivyo uaminifu na utifu ni jambo la busara zaidi alafu ujue tunaye mgeni ndani ya mjengo saa hizi ameshakuwa mwenyeji ugeni umeisha umeisha zaidi Eve pastor Eve karibu sana ulipokuwa tunakwenda kwenye mapumziko ulikuwa umewaka moto sana juu ulikuwa unataka kujibu mtu swali <laughs> So tulikuwa nasema faith is action. It's action based. It's not just talk talk talk. And that's why you realize so much so many Pentecostals to Naomba sana to Naomba but nothing is happening mm -hmm. it's because we we read the word mm -hmm. and that's why i said first let me back up i said faith is a profession mm -hmm. you read the word mm -hmm. and work on it mm -hmm. right read the word and then see what is the word saying and pasi, then pasi, ebu tusome is, is tujibu uh, conscience instincts na holy spirit are they uh, the same thing alafu ukiwa na ndoto hiyo tushajibu tujibu hiyo ya kwanza 
functions na instinct ni zote zini kitu the same uko sawa all right because mm-hmm. i think i i nilijibu ile swali mm-hmm. um nikasema hivi um conscience and instincts mm-hmm. when you get born when you're not born again you don't have the holy spirit mm-hmm. so you just have your conscience mm-hmm. which we also say it's your instincts oh. all right and nilifikiria nilisikia nili i thought i knew mm-hmm. you know but now when you get born again mm-hmm unakuwa na holy spirit mm-hmm. na nikasema conscious na instincts mm-hmm. ziko subjective zinandanga na venye sometimes mood iko ama venye your feeling mm-hmm. right zinandanga na my feelings mm-hmm. all right but holy spirit ako very objective mm-hmm. right so wakati unaokoka anaita conscience yako mm-hmm. haizimi mm-hmm. maana ni Mungu aliweka hapo mm-hmm. both for an unbeliever mm-hmm. and a believer yeah. the difference is ukiokoka holy spirit ako ndani yako mm-hmm. anaita conscience anaambia conscience come over here mm-hmm. we work Let's together, work together to make her what god created her to be mm-hmm. you get yeah na tumai umepata umepata jibu lako mpenzi mtazamaji kwamba conscience na instincts iwapo haujokoka utakuwa ukisema kwamba ni mafilenzi zako kwa ni kitu ambacho umekifikiria lakini unapo uh, kubali kwamba Mungu ni mwokozi wa maisha yako uh, na unakiri kwamba mimi ni mwokoka leo Roho Mtakatifu anafanya kazi pamoja na hisia zako na ile thamiri yako maana kila wakati itakuwa sawa na itakuwa ya kweli All right so turn back to my point yes. right All right so Venye nilikuwa nasema mm-hmm. and I'm using Abraham because I I love Abraham. Ama wacha nitumie Esther watasema Abraham Abraham kuna mtu mwingine. Yeah, pia yeye yes, ni mfano mzuri mm-hmm. sana. Mwanamke. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Si leo ni wanawake wako. Leo ni kimaliza hiyo si ndapitia wapi? <laughs> wacha nitumie Esther. Uh-huh. Mhm. Unaona Esther aliambiwa ya kwamba um Wayahudi wanaenda kuuawa. Mm-hmm. Akasema umejua nini? Mm-hmm. Wacha tukaombe. Mm-hmm. Lakini after kuomba kainuka. Mm-hmm akasema ni tena mbele ya mfalme akateka action akateka action mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so faith is a, and you see it was against the law of that land yeah. you couldn't just appear before a king you of die of alikuwa na wengi <laughs> but because alikuwa na faith uh-huh. that the one I've called on mm-hmm. is able to protect me against this law in the land yeah all right mm-hmm. akasema nitaenda mm-hmm. okay example ingine mzuri ni daniel mm-hmm. Daniel akiwa in the land of Babylon mm-hmm. walikuwa wametekwa nyara kutoka wapi kutoka kutoka Judah mm-hmm. right Israel uh-huh. wakapelekwa in the land of, after God aliambia Jeremiah mm-hmm. they'll suffer um, slavery for 70 years mm-hmm. after 70 years Daniel went and biblia nasema he studied the books mm-hmm. akaanza kuangalia mm-hmm. before 70 years i think it was at 69 years kabla kabla mm-hmm. akaanza ku study the books mm-hmm. akona oh the word said mm-hmm. the bible siku hizo nasema the bible by that mm-hmm. time hawako na bible mm-hmm. right so the word said it was uh-huh. written yeah. in slavery in 70 years mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. akainuka akasema si tuko 69 yeah. hatu, hatu taenda more than 70 mm-hmm. then what did he do he went into prayer mm-hmm. after he had read the word mm-hmm. he had faith that he who said will come and deliver them after 70 years mm-hmm. so he went to him mm-hmm. with the word he had read mm-hmm. all right and after he did that watu kama Ezra wakainuka mm-hmm. wakaanza ku, kurudisha wakaenda to the king mm-hmm. okay watu kama Nehemiah mm-hmm. wakaenda to the king okay kina Ezra wakaanza kurudisha watu mateka back yeah Mm-hmm. If you read the scripture very well there's no where the bible says that and god told them now go back they mm-hmm. acted on the word they the word said on 70 it. Mm-hmm. it is 70 we are going back mm-hmm. and they went and told the king and the king Ezra went and told the king and the king said god go because they acted on they the never word start, right? kama pia, pia wale watu ambao walikuwa na ukoma waliona kwamba tukikaa hapa kwa gate tutakufa nja exactly Tuki enda huko mbele mm-hmm. tunaweza uliwa ama tunaweza pata mm-hmm. chakula. So they acted on it. They did act on it. Mm-hmm. You get? Yeah. So the question of today was asking when you have faith mm-hmm. and you are ha- faithful and you are obedient yes. what does it do to you? Yeah, okay. hebu kwanza nisome comment hapa. Namuona mtu anasema kwamba uh, ha anasema kwamba uh, aliyesema kutii ni bora kuliko kutoa dhabihu alikuwa sawa. Alafu akaongezea akasema lakini usitii sauti za watu wa huni wanaotaka kukunyanyasa na kukukandamiza omba sana Mungu uh, akupe mwelekezo bora huyo ni Jane from Bypass na mwana mwingine hapa anasema Mungu hmm, Mungu hatendi kama mwanadamu 
uh, wala matendo uh, Mungu atendi kama mwanadamu wala matendo yake uh, uh, sio kama ya mwanadamu ambaye amejawa na chuki uh, sarau mapendeleo ila uh, makinika na kuwa na imani na mtiifu amerudia vile ambavyo tunasema ukwe na ukwe makinifu ukwe na imani na ukwe mwaminifu na shukran sana Munji Miriam sana sema ni wakesho kutoka Voi uh, ni hii ndio fursa ambayo naweza kusoma rafa naona mwingine hapa anasema uh, we live in a world we wazungu ndo hawa sasa we live in a world of fearful people mm -hmm. uh, be like the people in the bible katoa mfano Esther If I perish let me but I have to save my people. Hata mchungaji ametoa tu kutoa mfano wake kama huo. Asante sana ni Calvin Sochen kutoka Langata. Alafu anasema mambo Miriam salimia Eve. Eve umesalimiwa sana. Na muona mwingine anasema don't fear failure because if you do it will keep you uh, it will keep on happening in your life. Pendo kutoka Mariakani. Asante sana. All right. Mm -hmm. Um So talking about uh, what do these things do in you? I'll give my example, mm -hmm. right? Because to metoa Biblia, let's give examples that live in, live yeah. and walk among us, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. I remember I had prayed to go to school. I had finished my high school and then I said for like five years not going to school, but I really desired kwenda shule. Mm -hmm. So I prayed. Mm -hmm. I fasted. Kuenda campus. Eh eh. Mm -hmm. Nile kwanza kani pate. Nile kwa nambia Mungu family yetu ijepata degree. Uh -huh. Nataka tu nipate degree. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Mi sitaki kwenda college. Family yetu kila mtu ameenda college. Uh -huh. Sitaki college certificate. Nataka uvunje ile exactly. record. Uh -huh. Nataka kuvunja nira. Understand? Eh, ya sana. So I kept praying. Uh -huh. And then one day I remember I just told God God you need to do something mm -hmm. but you see and then i i applied i, I was applying i mm -hmm. applied in colleges i would go for orientation mm -hmm. school fees in a disappear mm -hmm. you see i was doing something yeah one day god i had just prayed and god came and told me mm -hmm. hey madam <laughs> this school you, you must go mm -hmm. the effort you've put in going in this school mm -hmm. you must go mm -hmm. and then he told me now go to this campus the campus i never thought about mm -hmm. and they're going up i was like this campus is very expensive god mm -hmm. is like i will pay your school fees oh my God. and then i went when i was finishing my undergrad mm -hmm. my first degree and mm -hmm. god tells me you know what don't celebrate it mm -hmm. i need you to do your masters oh my i mm -hmm. didn't have money Mm -hmm. Miriam I didn't have money. Okay. My accounts were zero. Mm -hmm. And then you see God is telling me move from the school of theology. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go to the school of school of business and economics. Okay. Kama kuna shule iko expensive ni school of business and economics. Mm -hmm. You know. What would be a shot? And that was like a million. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling God, God are you kidding? Mhm. Mm what? Me. Mm -hmm. And God told me, let me show you something. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I say this. I looked for the scriptures and I, I saw the scriptures that talk about provision and providence and all mm -hmm. that. And then I started to pray, but I still went to school. Mm -hmm. I still applied for that master. You see there is action. Yeah, there right? is action, yeah. I still applied for that masters mm -hmm. and then I started. Mm -hmm. In the middle of it, kidogo I don't know all of a sudden there are pounds on my account. I'm like pounds. Zimetoka wapi? Kidogo kidogo there are I'm telling you true story. Dollars on my account. Uli, I'm like, uli mali zime toka. No, I have never known until now and I don't want to know. You get it. And then the last the last leg because we were supposed to do two years mm -hmm. and then Matiangi came and added us five courses. Mm -hmm. So we did three years instead of two years in okay. masters. So the third year I was like God, sasa mm -hmm. You know? I was looking at like I needed like an M, a half an M, mm -hmm. right? It, um the next day mm -hmm. At 10 nilikuwa nifaa nifungiwe unajua vinyo nafunganga account zako yeah. you can't enter the school you can't do anything you can't do eh yeah, lazima uingie na ka ID exactly. ka kuonyesha unaruhusiwa that day i left home and mm -hmm. i told god god you know what i am mm -hmm. still going to school mm -hmm. i'm not gonna stay here mm -hmm. see inafungwa saa 5 hiyo mm. saa 5 ikifika basi mimi nitakuwa library wacha nifungiwe mm -hmm. i went to school Five minutes to Satano. Mm -hmm. I got a phone call that got me out of the library. Wow. It's like need to me account number yako. This is a person I don't know. Wow. We don't have a relationship. Mm -hmm. And the and the guy just swiped money into my account. So mm -hmm. they Ukamaliza deni. Yes. 
And that's how I finished my master's. I told God, I want to have a celebration. And God was like, don't worry, I'll even buy you a cake. Wow. You get? Mm -hmm. And he, he just gave me money for the celebration and everything. And people celebrated, they ate, they drank and all that. What am I saying with that testimony? Mm -hmm. Is as much as I prayed, mm -hmm. there, is an, uh, there is an act. I saw what the word of God is saying. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm not going to stay home. I'm going to go to school. Uh -huh. God saw that faith. And uh -huh. is like, uh -huh. no. No. Do you know no. how? they do it yeah come on in yako it may expire hi those people <laughs> mungu wangu watu wa campus hey okay. and god just and and god showed up big time mm -hmm. and he paid that money five minutes to me being closed out amen the right. 11th hour yes and my accounts were not closed so mm -hmm. what am i saying mm -hmm. i still went to school mm -hmm. i knew he said i go and do my masters mm -hmm. Akasema atalipa. Mm -hmm. amelipa two years Moja yezi mshinda. Uh, when he bring me this fine fine, uh -huh. I'm going to school. Mm -hmm. So God, you know what? You do your worst. If mm -hmm. you want to fail me, fine. But I'll shout to everybody and tell everybody God fails me. You get? He, he did not fail. He saw that faith. Yeah. Because it's an assurance. He mm -hmm. said it, he will do it. And he he did saw it. that faith. Mm -hmm. He had to cause someone to stop working. Yeah. Get out of a board meeting mm -hmm. to call me. Mm -hmm. Swipe before they went back to the board meeting. And I hear what's about Pierre Uliti. Exactly. Na pia ule act. I acted yani, on it. Ule ti na ukatenda. Yeah. Unajua kwa wanasema kwamba Mungu atakosesha mtu usingizi. Lakini atakosesha mtu usingizi wapo wewe umelala. Atakosesha aliye mtu usingizi kama wewe umelala itakuwa ngumu. Lazima ufanye hicho ambacho unakihitaji ukifanya. Lazima uende ufungue mlango. Lazima uingie mahali. Lazima ufungue ile biashara. Lazima ndio apply kama ni shule ndo Mungu akoseshe mtu usingizi. Nasimanga destiny careers. Wakujangi tu hivi hivi. Wapatangi mtu kwa kuna kwa kimombo wanasimanga azikukutana ni kwa shamba. Azikumkuta kama amelala, zilimpata kwa shamba akilima. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Baraka zilimpata akiwa active, mm -hmm. azikumpata akiwa mm -hmm. amelala. Shtia kwa ile washo mogoda. Wow. <laughs> Zilipata akiwa na act. He was acting. Alikuwa anatenda kazi yake ambayo alikuwa anahitaji. Pasi Asante sana zaidi. Kabisa kabisa kabisa. Ninajua watu wanashangaa kwamba imani, utiifu na uaminifu. Unajua watu wengine unaweza kuwa uko na imani kabisa. Unasema kwamba I believe in God. I trust this God. But I have a problem. I'm obedient. Unashangaa obedient inakujia wapi? Hapo kwa faithfulness sana sana unasimanga ni kutoa tithe tithe tu. Mimi nikitoa tithe I'm very obedient. Natoanga tithe. Yaani hapo ni kwa ile ya faithful. Mimi ni very faithful na toanga tithe. Mimi uliza mse, mpenzi mtazamaji, hapo mali ulipo. Unaweza simamisha nini mbele za Mungu mambo kwamba mimi nimekuwa maaminifu, nimekuwa mtiifu na imani yangu imekuwa imesimama. Unaweza simamisha nini? Sema kwamba wakati huu na huu kama vile ule mtu ambaye aliambiwa nakufa. Aliambia Mungu I did this and this and this. Debora akasema I did this and this. Unanihitaji. Unaweza simamisha nini? What can you? Unaweza ambia Mungu ni nini? Ni changamoto unajua mpenzi mtazama hii ni changamoto kwetu. Tujiulize. Nini unaweza simamisha kwa Mungu? What can you tell God? Tambia Mungu nini? Kizungu lazima itoke. <laughs> Utaambia Mungu nini? Tuachane na hii slogan ya utaambia watu nini? What will you tell God? Remember squeeze oxygen inauzwa. Na Mungu ametupatia bure. Umeifanyia nini? Umeifanyisha nini kazi? Kuna siku moja nilisema hapa, kukua great is very simple. Kukua great is very simple. Unaweza tendea mtu kwa kitu kadogo na imgusi. Kuna siku moja sijai kwa MC kwa harusi. And that day hawakuwa na MC. So I became an MC. Then there is a pastor. Nilikuwa nimekaa sana bila kwenda kanisa because I had to do 1 2 3 1 2 So, hiyo siku Pastor Santi sana I have to say this because ilinigusa. When I greeted her, nilikuwa nimemiss ni madam. So I had ni come hug. Akaniambia wacha nikwambie. Unaona ile siku ilikuwa MC. Ulifanya tukakula, ukafanya tukakunywa na tulikuwa tumenyimwa mpaka maji. And I told her, "Ah ah, mimi nilikuwa tu MC, nilisema patieni hawa chakula na wapatie maji." Just like that. But out of that, iligusa mtu. Out of that iligusa mtu mahali. Kwa hivyo mpenzi mtazamaji, chochote ambacho unakifanya kwa udogo kwa ukubwa itagusa maisha ya mtu. Na hiyo ndio itafanya wewe 
kukua cha legacy. Haijalishi umeishi maisha ya namna gani. Bora tu uishi katika zile njia ambazo zinastahili, uaminifu, utifu na ukwe na imani ambayo inastahili. Pasi, nataka tu toe maoni yako ya mwisho. Ah, kwa sababu pia muda unakimbia, unakwenda kwenda mbio 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 sana. Ninamwona hapa acha nisome hii eh, ukijitayarisha kutoa maoni yako ya mwisho. Najua <laughs> Ah pima la mkono najua ni mengi zaidi na muona anasema a little faith moves mountain ah inakwambia wazungu leo mtatuweza sawa trust in the lord he will never fail forsake you sawa sawa anasema imani ndogo kama master seed eh? inaweza kusongesha mlima haijalishi mpenzi mtazamaji unapokuwa nako na kaimani tu kadogo now u act on it ifanyishe kazi Tenda jambo usikutume imani na umekaa umezembea upo upo tu. Piga hatua za kusonga mbele na si za kurudi nyuma. Alafu rudi weke Uf- ufuatilizie utapata kupata nini kitu ambacho nakihitaji. Na God is not a liar, hadanganyani na kuna siku ambayo kudanganya. Kikuahidia lazima atatenda. Basi. Amen. Wow. You know, tunasema uh, faith as little as a mustard seed. Mm-hmm. But one of the parting shots that I want to leave to uh, the people who are listening in mm-hmm. is you don't stick mm-hmm. at the mustard seed. Mm-hmm. Faith grows. It has levels. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. It has levels. Mm-hmm. The moment you continue, you start working it out in obedience mm-hmm. and being faithful to the cost no matter the cost. Mm-hmm. It grows mm-hmm. exceedingly abundantly yeah abundantly. oh yes you know when the scripture says that it's not just a beautiful cliche mm-hmm. a rhyme in the bible mm-hmm. it's telling you there is exceedingly mm-hmm. and there is abundantly mm-hmm. and then there's a level of above all you can imagine mm-hmm. these are levels if i had time ninge tangamoa hizi levels zote so you don't stick to a place that christians keep saying at mm-hmm. faith as small as a master it can mm-hmm. move a mountain yeah but you see we have the holy spirit we have mm-hmm. to work out our faith because mm-hmm. when you work out of faith you're walking in obedience mm-hmm. and we're saying obedience is the stronghold of mm-hmm. faith yeah. right mm-hmm. it's the stronghold without obedience your faith is fake mm-hmm. okay because god will be speaking you not be doing you just be confessing and confessing and nothing happens with your confession mm-hmm. you have to make faith a profession mm-hmm. work it out rise up from exceedingly to abundantly mm-hmm. to above all that you can imagine So let's seek to work out our faith, right? Let's seek to be obedient to the little things that the Holy Spirit tells you. The little nudges. Somebody was asking me the other day, mm-hmm. how do I how do I hear the voice of God? I was like, it begins with the little nudges. Mm-hmm. The moment you obey, you continue to enlarge the capacity to hear. Mm-hmm. You continue to enlarge the capacity to hear. Mm-hmm. And now you start to hear the voice, an audible voice. Because mm-hmm. anaku exercise kama mtoto faith ndogo una exercise mm-hmm. una grow in a teenager faith mm-hmm. una grow into a young adult faith una grow into a mature faith that when you say we are building a 20 story house without a debt you actually built mm-hmm. that is a mature faith mm-hmm. you get so let's seek to work out our faith mm-hmm. how do you work out our faith by being faithful to the cause if mm-hmm. god says it be faithful until it comes to pass don't give up in between there mm-hmm. be obedient work it out mm-hmm. okay go out and work it work it out and let it grow mm-hmm. don't stick to mustard seed mm-hmm. that is basic very foundational faith mm-hmm. but god god's desire is rise to a place you are mature mm-hmm. you can now start to eat bones mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. that's the faith and it, that's the faith that is called the god faith okay the god faith the faith that god opens his mouth and say let there be and voila mm-hmm. there was that's the god faith wow Wow, hadi natamani tu tuongeongezewa muda. Yaani muda tungekuwa. Ati exceedingly abundantly. Yaani usikae tu pale kwa mustard seed. Grow. Mustard seed ni wale watu ambao wamokoka leo. Akae hapo kidogo kidogo akue, apewe gideri, apewe mifupa, atafuta. From glory to glory. Yeah, amen. Amen sana. Mpenzi mtazamaji, tumekuwa naye mtumishi wa Mungu Eva Ateli. Yamani imekuwa jambo nzuri la kufana zaidi. Ile ninaswa ni mpenzi mtazamaji. Kwa nini utumie mate wakati wino? Kwa nini utumie njia ambayo ni ngumu kufanikisha kitu na njia rahisi? Ufuate tu njia ambayo inastahili na uifuate kuaminifu. Ah, uifuate kwa uaminifu na utiifu na imani yako iwe thabiti. 
usichoke m mm? usichoke na usikate tamaa kwa sababu ukikata tamaa jamani nani atafanya hiyo kazi ambayo ulikuwa umeanzisha itakuwa ngumu mpenzi mtazamaji unajua leo kidogo tuko katika tunamaliza episode episode ya Kiswahili inaitwa nini hawamu <laughs> Awamu yetu ile ya kwanza yani uh, kipindi chetu cha awamu ya kwanza tunakikamilisha hii leo mpenzi mtazamaji ninajua shoko tukipumua tuko uchache kisha tuko tunarudi kwa uv, uh, kwa kishindo tunarudi kama tume uh, wazungu wanasema powerful na kila kitu lakini kabla ya hapo tumezungumza mengi kuhusu imani utifu na uaminifu mpenzi mtazamaji na mtumishi wa Mungu ametuelezea kwa uweledi zaidi kidogo mwana nikifurahia sana maana tulikuwa na binti wa kike ndani ya mjengo mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye ameteuliwa ni jambo ambalo limenifurahisha zaidi mifano ambayo imetolewa katika Biblia kuna ya wanaume kuna ya, 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 wana, na, ya wanawake na unajua ni kwa nini nasema hivi ni kwa sababu ndani ya vidato kila mtu kila mtu mtoto wa kike mtoto wa kiume umetengewa mahali nafasi yako nilipoanza nilisema uketi okay, kitako maana ujue kwamba tulikuwa tunakujuza mengi kila mtu ameekewa ame nafasi yake lazima uzingatie kitu fulani imani ujue ni kitu kidogo ambacho kitakusongesha mahali ambapo unastahili kufika mpenzi mtazamaji ningependa tu maana ninajua kuna watu ambao nafaa kurudishia shukrani siku ya leo ningependa tu nisome methali ya siku director Ningependa nisome methali ya siku nikiwa ninachanganua masuala ya leo ambayo tumezungumza watu wengi wametuma rafa zao na washukuru zaidi. Ninajua swala hili limekuguza zaidi. Hasa ambao wanasema kwamba uaminifu imekuwa changamoto sana. Siku tu tu tithe peke yake mpenzi mtazamaji. Tithe is not the only thing. Sawa sawa. Nataka nisome methali ya siku. Maana muda pia unakwenda sana. Methali yetu ya siku inasema hivi kilele uh, za uh, kelele za mwenye nyumba hazimkatazi mgeni kulala kelele za mwenye nyumba hazimkatazi mgeni kulala ushai kwenda kwa ugenini umewahi kwenda ugenini alafu ukapata mwenye nyumba ana koroma anapiga makelele mengi kwanza huo wakati ndo unajifunika gubi gubi Eh? unataka uchukue blangeti ujifunike yani hii inasema hivi kwamba unapotaka kufanya kitu na umeamua kwa mfano tutatoa mfano na tukitoa mfano wa mahusiano iwapo kama unataka msichana na msichana anakukataa kila wakati bado uta utajikaza ujikaze ehe boy child utajikaza utupe mistari mpaka ingie box sasa kama unataka kama uko katika hali nyingine ama unataka maybe umea promise Mungu God I want to do this for you ehe kizungu ndo hiyo Yaani itabidi umejikaza mpaka ufikie hapo. Usijali changamoto zipo zipo. Uambiwe na chacha, "Ah, chachi yetu iko wangi hivyo. Chachi yetu huwezi come tu na uanze kufanya hivi. Mhm, watu wa sheng ni mwa represent. Haiwezekani. So ina, inakubidi wewe uzibe masikio yako. Mhm. Ujikaze. Juhudi zote za wewe kufanikisha lile jambo uliweke tayari hadi ulifanikishe. Na leo tukizungumzia mada ya uaminifu, utifu na imani zote zinaingiliana. Maana acha nikwambie kama watu wako kando kando yako hawataki usonge mbele. Kumbuka tulisema njia zina misumari nyingi, zina mawe mawe mingi. Ukipita unadungwa, watu ambao wanatembea mkuchuma, mnadunga dungwa na vitu vingi ambavyo vinakutuma kwamba unaona kwamba ni kama sitayafikia malengo ambayo ninayohitaji. Ukikaa kwa uaminifu utifu na imani yako iweke tayari sawa na kwambia utaweza kufanikisha chochote ambacho unahitaji kwa hivyo kelele za mwenye nyumba hazimkoseshi mgeni kupata usingizi atapata usingizi ajifunike alali kumaanisha kwamba lazima afikie kile anachokihitaji